All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about F cell. Last time we talked, I was talking about the decision point, the triangle that was about to happen. Usually, a triangle gets broken around 75%, but sometimes you may have a break in a pattern where the triangle gets broken earlier. This is exactly what happened. Now, I didn't make a video to let you know that I got in, but I actually got in the next day and rally up all the way to $20 for F cell. Now, Today we're gonna to talk about what's next for f -cell. I have a lot of things to show you on this chart. And we're also going to talk about a new industry that I started investing in, especially right after I sold my stocks on f -cell. So we're gonna talk about all that after the intro. What's up guys, this is JC and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. It is imperative that we learn how to manage our money because once we learn how to manage our money, we can take control of our true wealth, which is our time and our freedom. This is exactly why I founded the Wealth Engineering School and this channel. We pay attention to everything that is stocks and crypto related to find the best place to grow your portfolio. If this is something that interests you, I want you to smash the like button, subscribe and click the bell. To my subscribers, thank you for your support. And if you are new here, welcome to the Wealth Engineering community. I have interesting links in the description below to help you start on your financial education journey. So if you're new and have been investing for the last three to five years, make sure you check those links out. You don't want to miss on this. With that said, you came here for the truth. Let's just dive deep into it. All right, guys. So this is the chart as it is now since the last video. Um, I've been getting some questions about F sales and people were asking me what's my thought on it and what's, uh, what do I plan on doing? First of all, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I do this video so that you can understand how to do technical analysis to maybe to hear a different perspective and compare different technical analysis on stocks that you may be interested in. And me, I love penny stocks. I love stocks that are innovative especially looking forward in the future. So if I can combine these two, this is exactly why I invested. I love green energy stocks as a whole. That's what led me to FCL and started investing in FCL since it was 25 cents and 16 cents. I was invested in FCL back then. But now uh, I'm actually out and I sold all my stocks on FCL uh, as soon as it hit $20. When we look at the chart, um, it's, you can see that there is a giant candle and it's forming a resistance here. But to help you understand what's actually happening, we're going to take a step back because this is exactly what I love to do. I love to look at the big trend, all right? The big trend and what is the trends doing? So we discussed about this trend right here. Uh, we've been trading all around in this triangle right here. Um, so I'm actually going to delete this right now because if you want, if you're curious on how I trade this, I'll leave a link on the, on the, I'll leave a link somewhere above so that you can go and check it out. But right now we're going to delete this because this is no longer valid and, um, this is the past. we got to focus on the future. So I'm going to clean, I'm going to work this chart with you. If you look at my yellow line, this is like my tick profit line. So I'm eventually expecting the price to go all the way to uh, maybe at some point $100. Technically, uh, when you look at the technical analysis, this is possible. When you also look at what the company is doing, the demand in the future, this is something that's very possible. So, but am I going to hold the whole time all the way then? No, I'm actually going to go in, back in and back out so that I can multiply my profit. I explain why I do that. In the video that I referred earlier, I explain why I do the exact same strategy. You get a lot more if you can time the market, especially sell just before the dip, you buy it back in. You do that for a stock you invested in. This is the technical investor strategy. I teach that in a course and exactly how to pick your stocks. All the links are in the description below. But all that to say that we're actually going to draw a new chart. So first of all, I want to show you, uh, I'm going to leave this line here, but I want to show you something very interesting. Now we're actually on a weekly timeline and I'm going to use this line here. And the first thing I'm going to draw is the, the bottom part of this channel right here. And I'm going to extend this channel very far so you can have a clear picture of what's going on, all right? So this is the bottom part of this channel. And as it is right now, we can draw the top part of the channel something like this. So there are a couple ways you can draw this. You can have the line 
touching on the wick of these candles here, kind of like something like this, so that you can you can factor the wick of this candle. This is a weekly candle, so when the wick happens like this, maybe in one of the days, it could have actually uh, have touched right this and close right uh, along this line. Or what I love to do for more accuracy is I love to only take care of the body of the candle. So this is the closing of this candle, closing of this candle, and closing of this candle. So I love to include the body of the candles so I can look at the long-term approach and be more accurate. The, um, the body is more accurate than the wick. So with that said, when we draw it like this, all right, without knowing anything about the stocks, without knowing anything about the market, when we draw it like this, uh, we're still on a bull run. So what's actually happening right now is there is a lot of people that's been investing all around this area, like this area right here. It was a long accumulation period. And all these people, they've been waiting long enough to start taking their profit. So what they're doing right now is they're actually taking their profit. And this is something that I've, I've seen constantly on holding this stock. For example, I remember I, would, I had a trade where I bought it at 50 cents. And as soon as it hit as soon as it hit the $1, it started to go back down. It's because people just double their money all of a sudden, you know. So you when you have a 100% return on your investment, you definitely want to capture that. And I've made a video discussing that as well. The same video that I'm referring to, you may definitely want to check it out because I'll, I'll go to, I go through that on, in details. And it's actually my most viewed video on this channel. So make sure you check it out. It's actually a great one. Now, um, what's actually happening now is there is people are taking profit. It does not mean we started a bearish uh, trend. Uh, if we put it on the daily, we may have a different look, but it's still in the channel. It's actually right above the channel yet. So there's a couple of things we can see. First, it has to if we if we if we're not getting any close below the EMA 21, we're still on the uptrend. Second, even if we do get a close on the EMA 21 on a daily chart, uh, it can go as low as five and even three dollars long term. It's still going bullish. All right. Because we're as long as we in this channel right here where the price was going up sideways or down and then up again, it may do sideways for a moment and then start going up again or it may go down and touch this. And start going up again so we don't know as long as we're here we're technically still bullish now for something like this to be bearish is there's a couple of things that would need to happen first we would need to have a cross with the moving average we're starting to on a daily maybe uh, uh you would need maybe a moving average 50 and 200 to check it out instead of a ema 21 uh, i like i like to use uh ema 8 and ema 21 to get an earlier cross but uh, this is just me uh, after you can use uh, moving average 50 and moving average 200 to get uh, to know when is the bearish time and when is the bullish time. Something that if you don't understand, it's fine. Uh, I have ex I have all this explained in the course. But um, long term, what do I think for this um, energy? I think that especially with Biden administration uh, that is about to start, I think uh, this the future of hydrogen as a whole is very bullish. And this is, you can look at Plug right now. Last year, Plug was very like below $10 and all of a sudden now it's on $60. So, you know, there is a lot of potential in, uh, in, in this energy, in this industry. So it depends on people. When people are asking me, what should they do with f -cell? Well, I tell them, what's your plan? Is Are you a long-term investor? Are you a swing trade investor? Are you... Are you a day trader? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want to do? What was your plan before you got in stocks? Me, honestly, my plan was to sell at twenty dollars, and I actually don't care if it goes higher because for two thousand twenty-one, my plan is: can I double my money on each investment I make? Now, of course, I believe that we can go from twenty dollars to forty. But when I see the extension like this, I see the RSI already high. I see the MACD of already extended. And when I already collected $100, since I've been riding it from $7 all the way to like 20, uh, I'm not like, I'm not really worried about um, staying on it for too long. I can wait for the market to stabilize a little bit 
even if it expands this channel, I'm not, I'm, I don't care because what I really care about is to double my money on each of my trades. So this is my plan for 2021. The question is, what is your plan? Is it the same as mine? Is it different? Uh, are you a long-term holder, something like you want to hold for five years? Uh, are you a swing trader? So try to figure this out and that will decide. And this is how you're going to know what is the best investment for you. Uh, when we put it on a long term, even on a monthly, we still have some room to grow. All right. I made a video about that already. But when we look at the monthly, the RSI is just starting like it's barely up touching the 50. All right. On the monthly candles. So this is Again, this stock has a lot of room to grow and it has the entire year to start pumping up. So we're in very early stages of this, uh, of this bull run. It's just me. I like to trade more on a higher frequency. Then I'm going to uh, pause for now, wait for the market to stabilize a bit. I love when the RSI is around 50 on the daily or even lower so I can get in. And, and, then, and then I'll go back in. In the meantime, where I'm applying my money is on this industry right here. It's the drone industry. So if you're in Canada right now, I have a lot of my viewers that are in Canada. Um, you might want to take advantage to this deal right here. So this deal is offered on the TSX, Toronto Stock Exchange. And I think I believe 2021 is going to be a pivotal year for the. And I'm actually going to make a separate video about that. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and stay alert for this video because you really want to take a look at that. There is some interesting thing happening and there is some huge opportunity to make a lot of money in this industry right now. So make sure you subscribe. I'll, I'll let you know about that. But hey, this is where I put my money from FSL and I put some of it in, in this stock right here. So it's been going down for a long time and now it has broken above this pattern and look at the candles. Look how bullish they are. Uh, this is like a nice bull flag, pump back up break above this previous resistance it's passed above one dollar so it's going to attract a lot more investors and it is just starting it is just getting started i believe it's going to be like that for uh for the next couple of years especially the entire year of 2021 at the very least we can expect the stock to rally all over here we can expect taking profits uh, somewhere here and then we can expect to see when we see a pattern like this, we can expect to see a price around this. And that would have definitely doubled your money. Again, this is what I focus on. I focus on where can I double my money as fast as possible. So this is where I applied my stocks. I started buying around one dollar. I'm actually going to buy a lot more because, again, the RSI is starting to be overextended. But uh, I, I'm going to wait and see how the market stabilizes before I start buying more. Uh, I was buying it on the hourly chart, so I didn't like seeing that. But uh, with that said, I'll make a different video on what other stocks I'm buying, especially in this industry, and uh, what other great in the innovation and news that's been happening in this industry. And and again, we're in this channel, if you're an F-Cell holder, if you're an F-Cell fan, I'm still going to make videos about F-Cell because as the chart is aligning itself for me to get another entry i'll definitely look at it but as of now the way it is i'm happy with it and then i'll, I'll wait to see what's going on with that said we'll talk on the next video